All right, uh, neon light bulbs. I've done a lot of videos on neon light bulbs. Um, I didn't know these existed. <laughs> it's an NE777, uh, 77, not a triple seven, NE77. So any, an NE02 is a normal uh, LE, uh, neon light bulb, any NE, NE02. The NE77 is exactly the same size and all the dimensions and everything, except it's got three wires. <laughs> yeah, three. And it's got three electrodes. I'll put a, I'll put a picture here uh, so you can see it up close. Um, it's, it's, it, it's kind of weird. <laughs> so I first saw these things and I thought, oh, well, so you can light up one side or light up the other side, but that's not what they're for. And in fact, they don't really light up very well. They're, they're used for, they're used for a different reason. Um, but the specs are pretty much the same, you know, around 160 volts, 140 volts minimum. Uh, but what they're used for is a, is a, basically, they're like a, a vacuum FET. <laughs> um, so you put voltages across the outside too, and they don't conduct. But if there's any leakage, so imagine there's three things, right? And there's not enough to let the current go between these two. But if you like short these together, then there's a, a shorter path and it'll, it'll jump those two. So if, if you short these two, they, they go, if they short those two, they'll go and they'll just sit here until you actually do something with this middle pin and then it conducts. So, uh, so what do you use them for? Uh, like I said, I've never seen these before. Um, so here's a, a, an app note on them. Uh, triggering electronic flash units. Okay, so I can zoom a little further. Um, gentlemen, the following application of a three element trigger lamp. So it's a three element trigger lamp. May be of interest to camera owners who use electronic flash. Uh, small capacitor can be charged to 400 volts and then discharged through one of these things. So the circuit here is you charge up your big capacitor so this you know that's a, a, that high whiny sound you hear in your flash so it's 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 charging up this big capacitor and then when it gets fully charged it it's sitting here the ground side is sitting here on this little thing and if you short these two wires together then this breaks down it fires this side of the transformer it's a high voltage transformer and it woo, it creates a high voltage pulse on this side and it fires the xenon flash Okay, so that's pretty cool. So that's what it's used for. It's used for a trigger circuit. Um, now, um, there are other types of trigger bulbs and they're most classically used in making atomic bombs. <laughs> All right, so they're made, uh, <clears throat> the, more, the more famous one of these is uh, called, I'll get it here, it's called a Kryton. K-R-Y-T-R-O-N, a Kryton, is a gas-filled tube made for a high-speed switch, and it passes kilovolts and kiloamps, and there are other ones called a thyroton, uh, thyrotron, and spiro spirotron or something. Anyway, there's a, there's a couple of them that are used in uh, triggering the high voltage, high voltage, uh, high voltage, the high explosive charge in uh, atomic uh, bombs where you have an implosion device. You have shaped charges around a sphere and you need, need to detonate all of these charges all at the same time and you need to instantaneously detonate them so they use really high voltages, high currents, and they use these vacuum tubes. And anyway, uh, this is a tiny little, uh, this is the tiny little brother here. So uh, we will be playing with him. Now, the really, really cool part of this app note, you'll love this one. Uh, let's see here, it's on page two. I like the way this guy writes too. <laughs> okay, so remember we're gentlemen here. Um, by using a three element trigger tube, as shown below, the current trigger can be reduced to 50 microamps or less, which is so low that the flash tube can be fired by bridging the shutter contacts with your tongue! Exclamation <laughs> point. Okay, so um, I would love to have volunteers come over to the garage and stick their tongue on this thing and see if they, 
<laughs> see if they're brave enough. Uh, this is the Hazeltine Corporation, so uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna stick my tongue on it. I, I don't, I don't think so. All right, so let's get let's get things set up here so we can play with it. Uh, here is a tube. Uh, so I'm gonna be using my my famous high voltage supply here, and uh, I'll be using a uh, a current probe um, to measure the current flow. And we will set this up here. Um, all right, so I'll hook my current probe up and uh, put it on that side. And uh, it's going through a resistor box. So I've dialed, dialed into 47K. So I've got uh, a bunch of, bunch of voltages. Uh, let's turn on our power supply over here. So we'll be using a bunch of voltages, <laughs> a bunch of volts. And uh, we will use a 47K resistor. And we're going on the outside too. All right. And then if we bridge, uh, so I'm operating around 275 volts right now. And if I, I'm going to hold this little piece of glass here <laughs> and another tube, and I'm going to use it to short these two guys together. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it did, it did start to conduct. Okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, we will disconnect this for a second here. Let me rearrange the camera and tell you what we're going to do. Okay, so I've got to zero set here. I'll push the zero on the, uh, on the current probe. And there we go. We're getting a zero trace. And I'm going to do a, uh, ah, I'm going to do a, a trigger. Okay. And I'm going to trigger the device. And we will save that. All right. So what did we just do? Uh, we're monitoring the current. And when I told the device, or when I, when I uh, let the device conduct, it, uh, it uh, conducted a bunch of current. And so we have uh, 50, 100, 150 milliamps. So it's conducted 150 milliamps um, over about five microseconds. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Let's, uh, let's see, let's reset here. Let's see if we can do it again. Oops, that was a noisy one. That was a noisy one. Let's see. There we go, there's another one. Yeah, they're pretty repeatable. Ah. Yeah, pretty repeatable. Let me show you what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. So I have it here. So when I reset, I disconnect it and I connect it and then bam, I put my, I put my finger right here. So it's not my tongue, but I put my, I put my finger across these two. This is the, uh, this is the ground side of my high voltage. So I put the, I put the plus side over here and then I, I ground these two together and it, and it fires it. Uh, in fact, let me turn off the room lights and can you, yeah, you can see the glow there, right? So it's right there. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop it from glowing. Now I'm going to put my finger on it and there it starts to glow. Let's see if I can, uh, get a little more, there we go. Just a little bit more light. Uh, so you can kind of see me in it at the same time. So. Here we go. One, two, three. Dunk. There it turns on. <laughs> so yeah, come over and stick your tongue on it if you want. Uh, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll put a picture here uh, showing the uh, showing the arc. It's definitely not a neon arc. Looks more like maybe an argon arc. Um, not sure, but some type of gas. Uh, Turn the room lights back on. Anyway, uh, I just find that totally amazing. Uh, I don't know anybody who's seen one of these before. I'm sure one of my my viewers. I've got some old guys <laughs> watch this channel. They probably say, "Oh yeah, we used that in the so and so," and it, yeah, probably have good good stories. Um, anyway, yeah, all the graybirds out there, chime in. Um, uh, have you used a any seven seven 
or a Signalite TRQ250. I guess it's the same part. Um, this is a, a this is a great this is a great data sheet. Or it, it's actually an application. It, it's a, it's it's basically a catalog of all of the uh, neon bulbs they have and all their applications and stuff um, uh, made by uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's a cool one. I, I, I like this one. This this one uses any. Let's see here. Let me uh, zoom in on this one. Uh, let me rearrange the camera. Now, how's this for circuit? This is really, really cool. It uses normal normal neon. So neon NE2s, okay? So those are normal neon bulbs. And 100K resistor here, so they're all biased on. And depending on which relay closes, one of these will come on, right? Well, what this does is you energize all three relays at the same time. And the relay that's the fastest, that bulb will light up and none of the other bulbs will. So whichever gets there first. So you can use this like in Jeopardy, right? <laughs> like buzz in. Um, yeah, whichever one closes first, that's the uh, neon light that'll, that'll turn on. That, that, that's, uh, that's a cool circuit.